Good morning. This is Miss Corrigan, and this is our lesson about basic um, perspective. I think we would call it atmospheric perspective. And the first thing I'm going to do, I want a square piece of paper. So to make a square piece of paper, I'm going to take the bottom edge and fold it up gently so that I know where the top of this is. And I'm just going to mark a little mark there. And then I can fold my paper to that mark. There we go. And if I just crease it really hard, actually I'm going to crease it this way too. So crease it both ways. And then you can rip it. So this is going to be part one of creating atmospheric perspective. This is going to be land. So what you're going to do first um, is you're going to draw three hills. So your first hill, and it could be a hill or it can be a mountain. So there's my first hill. It's a nice little round one. And then back here, I'm going to put one more hill. And did you hear me? I said back here because it is behind that one. Oops, I wanted to turn my brightness down a little bit so you can see better because I'm afraid it's too bright. There, that's better. So there's one hill back there and then I'm gonna put my pencil here and put another hill there. So I've got one, two, three hills. How do I know these are further back? They're overlapped by these. This is my front one. So one, two, three hills. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is draw a road. I am standing on the road. So the road is gonna start right here where I am standing. Now, as the road goes away from me, it's gonna get narrower and then it's gonna disappear over the top of the hill. So here goes my road. I'm gonna draw this part of it first. It's gonna disappear there. So it gets skinnier and skinnier as it gets to the top of this hill. So it's going over that hill. Now, which is the next hill? This is the next hill because it overlaps to here. So I'm gonna pick up my road somewhere over there. I'm not going to just draw it coming off of here because it goes over the top of the hill, right? I can't see how it's going on that far side. Somewhere on this hill, I'm going to I'm going to have my road start here and it's going to go wiggle 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 and disappear there. And so it's going to be kind of doing the same thing where it gets skinnier and skinnier and skinnier till it disappears over that edge. And then pick up and disappear over that hill. So I've got a road that's close to me, so it's big, and then it gets narrower the further away it goes, and then it goes way, 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 way over there. Next thing I'm going to do is draw three trees. So I'm going to have a tree close to me that's really big. It's going to be so big, it's going to start here and go up, and I'm going to actually make it disappear. Uh, not disappear, excuse me. It's going to go off my page. I think you guys remember how to draw bee trees. I'm drawing on my table. Don't do that. So here is my tree. I'm putting my little roots on the bottom. So this tree is so big, it goes off the page. Then on my next hill, I'm going to draw another tree. It's also a big tree, but because it's farther away from me, it's a little bit smaller. And then way over here, I'm going to draw a little tree because it's further, further away. Now the last part of this project is coloring it in. This is our warm color piece. So that means I want you using warm colors, which means I'm using my oil pastels. So what I'm gonna do is go through my oil pastels and pull out all my warm colors. Warm colors are gonna be colors like fire. They're gonna be from the warm side of the color wheel. So that means they're gonna be red, yellow, orange, and I'm also gonna include brown in my warm, there's another yellow, and pinks, but not purples. Now this is a tricky one, because this is, what color is this? Um, I don't see it on there. Usually they say something, but I don't see it. This is close to, well actually maybe it is the same color pink. Okay, it's pink. I can use pink, because pink is a derivative of red. I can't use purple, because there's blue in it, and I can't use green, because there's blue in it. Okay, so only warm colors for this, which means we're going to be a little creative here. So my hill, I'm going to make my front hill orange. And then 
And you can use whatever media you have. I'm using oil pastels because I tend to love oil pastels. Now, because we're using a limited number of colors, you may need to do some blending. So, oh, I do have a white, good. So if I use this orange on this hill, it means I'm not gonna wanna use it on this hill or this hill because those are touching and it'll look like I'm using the same color because I would be. So one thing I could do is I could use white. So back here on this hill, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use this orange. I'm needing to peel this guy down. Well, I guess it's a little peeled on that side. So I'm gonna go, oh, you can see me. <laughs> I didn't wanna get in the way of the camera. So here is my orange and I'm gonna blend a little white in here. I could even blend yellow in there if I wanted to. And you can make up your own orange by blending another color in. So if I put white into my color, and you can do this with colored pencils too, you guys. Colored pencils should blend really nicely. I need to do a colored pencil project because I know you guys have colored pencils. But this is the warm colored project. I'm gonna make my road red. Let's see. And I'm also, I'm gonna make my road red over here too because you can tell it's the same road, but it's not touching it, so that's just fine. And I'm gonna make that hill this orange. Let's see, I think I'm trying to color pretty quickly here so I can get stuff done. Now what color should my sky be? It can't be blue because blue is a, a cool color. So we're gonna use, I'm gonna use yellow for my sky. Ooh, that's kind of nice actually. It's a nice bright color. And I'm letting my trees be kind of um, fall, winter trees without leaves on them. If you wanna put some leaves on your trees, you can, but you gotta think about what color they're gonna be. They have to be warm colors, right? So here, let's finish doing this. And remember too, you can blend colors. Like I can use brown for my tree. Maybe I'll have this tree be brown. And then maybe I'll use brown with a little bit of white for my farther away tree. Just blend a little bit of white in there. Cool. And I still actually have colors left that I haven't used. So this is our warm landscape atmospheric perspective project. That's what we're doing here. All right, so that's this week, ha ha. And then next week, we're gonna do a cool color one with water. All right, I am gonna finish coloring and I'll post this picture when I'm done. Thank you.